wonderful. All right, well, it's common knowledge the kitchen is the gathering spot in most homes, so why not make it as beautiful and functional as possible? Today, we are going into Dream Maker Bath and Kitchen, showing you how a gorgeous kitchen environment and delicious food can be a perfect combination. We are here at Dream Maker Bath and Kitchen, and we are actually talking about some of our favorite things, gorgeous kitchens and delicious food. And for that, we have Chef Robin. We are actually taking a trip around the world today. Yep. Some of the food we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Italian favorites. Mm. I have a wonderful hint for some Italian food. My husband's Italian. Oh. So, he has helped me discover some um, different Italian favorites that maybe some people might not have in their repertoire. Yeah, some of his family yes. secrets over the generations. Yes. Grandma Taldo's chicken galliano. We're going to be making that today. Nice. Awesome, delicious. Using this crazy bottle of galliano that you never see in any recipes. <laughs> unless you know Grandma Taldo. <laughs> well, I'm really excited about this. A lot of people love chicken, but they're looking for a different spin right. on this kitchen staple. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, chicken can be very boring. I do have um, an organic chicken breast here, so we don't have to worry about any steroids or anything like that in these. Um, it's, and it's got a nice neutral flavor. Mm -hmm. We're going to be adding this um, cheese to it, which I've made. You can also buy like a Rondell or Alouette cheese at the grocery store in the cheese department, but I've made this one really easily with some cream cheese, some white wine, butter, herbs, and garlic. Oh, yummy. And I just whipped it up really easy, and then I just let it sit overnight to develop the flavor. So we're just going to spread that on the chicken. Now make sure when you're making a recipe like this that uh, you use up all the cheese because you wouldn't want to stick this back in your refrigerator after you put the rock chicken Of course, it. and if you have to add more cheese, you know that's always a good thing. Yes. <laughs> cheese is in Italian, our partners in crime. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this up. I have pounded this out uh -huh. and made it nice and thin, so we're going to roll it up. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to stick some toothpicks in there to try to secure some of that cheese that wants to creep out. Chef Robin, this looks so easy so it far. It is. It is very easy. It uses, you know, common ingredients that you would have other than the galliano, of course. So this is a, about two or three times a year I'll make this for my family. It's my husband's favorite. His grandma made it a few times a year as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, delicious alternative, like you were saying, of, you know, the boring chicken that you do on a daily basis. <laughs> chicken gets boring. You have to make it fun. All right. So we have that pretty secure. Now this is just a seasoned flour. It just has all-purpose flour and some ground or dried thyme in there and mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Yes. So that's just going to create a nice crusty brown surface for us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sear it in a pan with butter. And then we'll add our lovely chicken galliano and chicken broth to make a nice gravy for it. Mm, delicious. Yes. And now we have finished it. It's simmered for about 30 minutes. And then it makes this really nice sauce. It tastes delicious. It makes your mouth water while it's cooking. It's so yummy. No wonder it's my husband's favorite. <laughs> Grandma told him knew it. Amazing. And it's gorgeous to eat. You've also paired it up with this bread that just looks out of this world. Yes. And I, we actually made that. Made it today. It, it's a really quick bread. It's really easy. You don't have to have any fancy things to make it with. You need a bowl and a wooden spoon or a regular spoon. All you have to do is you put a little bit of water, sugar, yeast, salt, and then you add your flour and you mix it by hand. You put it in the refrigerator overnight. And what that does is it just slowly ferments it and almost kneads right. it by itself. So you don't have to do much work. You pull it out, you add, I added Parmesan and peppercorn, so it has a really nice flavor. And then we're just gonna um, serve it up with a little bit of roasted garlic oil, which is nice. delicious. Gorgeous. So, and say, I'm gonna try some of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best part it is you actually can learn to cook like Chef Robin, because there's an opportunity coming up here. Yeah, we have my Italian faves class coming up here at Dream Maker. Mm. Yummy. Awesome. It's incredible. Awesome. Amazing. So everybody can learn how to make this. Grandma Tallow's Chicken Galliano mm. and the wonderful bread. We're also going to be moving to the other side of my husband's family to Nana Rose's Old World Italian Meatballs and a fresh Italian pasta. And then we're also going to be doing a lemony ricotta nut, pine nut tart, and also a salad. We have to have some veggies in there, so we're going to have a panzanella salad and all kinds of crunchy fresh veggies. So it'll be lots of fun. Robin, this is amazing. And so you can take the class, Italian Faves, yep. or also hook up with Dream Maker coming up at the Home and Garden Show. Yep. They have a, a, a great booth that they're going to have at the Home and Garden Show on the March 1st through the 4th. So you can talk to them about having a beautiful kitchen of your own. 
remodeling and new kitchens. It would just be, it's a great company to work with. Awesome. And so learn to cook like a pro in the kitchen of your dreams. We're here at Dream Maker Bath and Kitchen. Wow, and you would love Chef Robin. She's a busy mom. She's got several young kids. Is and she's still making beautiful food. She makes beautiful food, and she has a great blog where she breaks it all down and helps us learn how to easily, conveniently, and really affordably make delicious food that our whole family will eat. Real women making real food for the kids. We I love, love it. it. That's right. We'll have that chicken dish recipe on our website. Just go to woodtv.com and click on the 8 West section to find it. It may take until mid-afternoon to get that on there, so just be patient. If you don't see it right away, keep checking back. Chef Robin, by the way, is not only a wonderful cook, a great teacher as well. She does gourmet cooking demonstrations, and you can enter to a contest to win two free classes with wine tasting involved by liking Dreammaker Bath and Kitchen of Greater Grand Rapids on Facebook. The classes, by the way, will be held at that beautiful showroom, the functioning kitchen at Dreammaker. That looks gorgeous. Yeah. You know, Chef Robin is right now creating her schedule for several new classes next month, so while you're on the page, be sure to let them know what kind of classes you'd be interested in her teaching you. Hey, that's kind of fun. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. If you're building or remodeling a home, we do know that kitchens and bathrooms are critical living spaces, functional, comfortable. Well, the folks at Dream Maker Bath and Kitchen, you'll want to give them a call or find them online at DreamMakerGR.com. They're located on West River Drive, just east of Fifth Third Ballpark, right off US 131. Their phone number, easy 616-632-2284. Yeah, they do make it easy, and their designs are spectacular. It looks beautiful. Wonderful. Well, stay right there. More of 8 West is straight ahead. We'll be right back. Your all-access pass to everything West Michigan.